How's it going guys and welcome back. So you finally made it to chapter number six and you've arrived at Costa del Sol, one of the chillest places in the entire game. And here are the main things you want to make sure you're not missing out on before you leave Costa del Sol. The first thing you want to do as soon as you get off the boat is hop onto one of these wheelies, which are the segways that can be found all around Costa del Sol and ride around for at least 4,000 meters. Once you've ridden for 4,000 meters, you can talk to the NPC here at the desk and he's going to give you two rewards. One is going to be for riding around for 2,000 meters, which is going to be a headband, and for riding 4,000 meters is going to give you the pedometer pin. The pedometer pin is actually an accessory that allows you to gain gill for simply walking around, which is kind of cool, so make sure you pick this up. The next thing we're going to do is make sure you head over to the accessory vendor and pick up a few star pendants. These are going to make you immune to poison, which is going to be, of course, very useful for the boss in this chapter, as well as many other enemies in the future. Now, if you are feeling brave, you can actually unlock the Alexander summon as soon as you get to Costa del Sol here in chapter 6 by talking to Chadley and doing the combat challenge as it is available as soon as you arrive here. However, considering we don't yet have access to the divine intels to weaken Alexander, it's going to be a pretty tough fight unless you're either playing on easy or are pretty overpowered, but you can actually unlock him if you wish to. So moving on a little bit, once we leave Johnny's Hotel with Cloud, the next objective is going to be to get some beachware. Now for doing each of the blue main objectives, we're going to get these companion cards which we can trade for beachware. We don't need to do all of them as as soon as we get one beachware, we can pretty much just go to the beach with that character. However, I would definitely recommend doing all of these blue objectives, mainly just to get all of the swimwear available, but also because some of them have some extra gifts for you. Now starting off with the Pirates Rampage minigame, which is going to be the shooter on the boat. The first one we have unlocked is going to be the Brigantine, Brigantine, I'm not sure how that's pronounced to be honest, uh, but if we get over 15,000 points for rank 3, we're actually going to get a time materia. Now the other blue objective with Cloud is going to be the card carnivals. To get the companion card for the swimwear, you only need to do the first three of these puzzles in the card carnival, but once you've actually done those three, you can go back to the desk and compete in a few extra ones to get some extra cards. So once you've unlocked both of the swimwear options for Cloud, you can send him down to the beach and it is time to control Aerith and Tifa. They also have a few blue objectives available for them to unlock the swimwear. The first one is going to be the free for all in Run Wild, which is the football sort of uh, Rocket League minigame. Now you don't actually need first place, However, I would recommend getting undisputed first place with red for this to get the silver collar weapon. Also, while controlling Tifa and Aerith, make sure you head into the Royal Coast Hotel to do the Royal Coast Concert objective. This way you'll get Tifa's theme for the piano. Now you don't need to get A rank right now, but if you do decide to play the piano and get the A rank, you can always talk to Dorian afterwards to get the MP up materia. Dorian is going to be located near pretty much every piano you find in the game, so you don't need to do this right now. Honestly, I'm not even sure if Dorian is standing next to the piano in chapter 6, I didn't do that until chapter number 7, but while you're in chapter 6, make sure you do at least get Tifa's theme by doing the Royal Coast Concert objective. Now the other two objectives don't really have any direct useful rewards, which are the Cactua Caper and the Wheelie Rendezvous. However, I would recommend doing those two objectives as well, just like we said before, to get all of the swimwear unlocked. Now when the time comes to head down to the beach with Tifa and Aerith, make sure you decide wisely on what swimwear you chose for each of them. The reason for this is that if they combine with the same type of swimwear as Cloud, you're going to increase the friendship level with that character. So for example, if you decided to take Cloud down to the beach with the shirt on option, it means that to get higher affinity with either Tifa and or Aerith, you want to make sure they match. So if Cloud has the t-shirt on, you want to make sure they also have the more conservative covered up option. And if you decided to take Cloud down to the beach with no shirt on, you want to make sure that either Aerith and or Tifa have the bikini less covered up option as well. After the boss fight on the beach, before you head back into the town, make sure you get all of the relationship interactions with all of the characters by speaking with each of them. The best option for each of the conversations are going to be with Tifa, you want to choose lots happened since then. With Barrett, you want to choose this is on Hojo. As for Red, we want to choose we had no choice. And finally, with Aerith, we want to choose they're just thoughts. Now, while this does put an end to Chapter 6, it is not yet the end of the Costa del Sol. When we start Chapter 7, there are a couple more things we want to do in town before we head out to Corel. The most important thing we want to do is make sure we go back down onto the beach and start the Rendezvous in Costa del Sol side quest. This is going to unlock a bunch of things. First of all, we're going to get the free Chocobo rental pass, meaning we can use Chocobos out in Corel for free now. It's also going to unlock jewels and the training gym challenges out in Corel when we get there, which are going to be those difficult button sequence minigames, like in the first one we had the pull-ups, and here we're going to do crunch off. Now, during the Rendezvous in Costa del Sol side quest, we're also going to unlock two new minigames. We're going to unlock the Ghost Ship level for the Pirates Rampage shooting game, and we're going to unlock the Time Trial for the Run Wild football minigame. Now, during the side quest itself, we can only get a maximum of rank 2, no matter how many points we get. So make sure that after you actually finish the side quest up completely, you want to go back to the Pirates Rampage and the Run Wild minigame to get rank 3 on each of them. 
If you do manage to get rank 3 on the ghost ship for the pirate rampage, you're going to get a wind materia earring. And if you manage to get rank 3 for the time trial on the run wild minigame, you're going to get platinum earrings. So with that said, I believe you are ready to head out from Costa del Sol into Corel. I hope you did find this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.